My name is Dr. Ndo Mwokono. I'm a partner with Nestia. Nestia is an international multi-competency development firm based here in Nigeria with offices across the world. So these are my questions, and I, I wish that you help Nigerians to understand how you're going to solve our security and safety challenges if you become Nigerian president. First, defense and security sector got the biggest budget allocation in 2023 financial budget, which is 13.4% of the total budget, or 2.98 trillion naira. While we are acknowledging the rising insecurity and the need to improve safety and security of citizens, there have been established relationship between military and defense procurement, as well as corruption in Nigeria. And while the military is, on, is underperforming, we have been pointing fingers at how procurement issues have been carried out in the time past. If you become Nigerian president come May 2023, how would you handle the close nature of procurement in the military and defense sector? B, what significant steps will you be taking for Nigeria to reduce our spending on arms? Second question. According to Nestia Violent Database, between January and December 2022, about 3,032 Nigerians, or people who live in Nigeria, were victims of kidnapping. Considering the effort your government made at fighting such issues in Anambra State when you were governor, what would be your practical steps as a government in the war against kidnapping in Nigeria? This is because judging from the way kidnapping is done in Nigeria, each region has a, has a uniqueness of its kidnapping challenge and this need to be solved. Policing, second tier policing, which will be different from the federal government policing. Also. Well, let me start with the first thing instead of procurement if I understand the question clearly. Every procurement, be it in the military or in any other sector, will be transparent. We can no longer allow the military or anybody to operate in a, in a different world because we don't have resources. So we're not going to have resources that people can use to do procurement at their own terms. All procurement must be transparent, and more Nigerians must be transparent, visible, measurable, and we must get value for that procurement. You know, we must be sure that this thing will bring the value added to it. And I assure you that nothing will be under the table, it will be open. On each of what we are going to do to stop kidnapping and everything, is that we need to go out to the root of it. We need to involve communities in securing our country. We need to involve communities in securing our country. I give an example, and I'm sure somebody who is here knew what, a little bit of what I did in Anambra State. We said, listen, this thing starts from the security, from the communities. I invited every single community. We had about 180 communities in Anambra State said each of you must set up a security outfit paid directly by government from my office. I paid them each in, paid directly by government, but all of them a pickup, security pickup, other equipment that was necessary. Told the traditional ruler and is this thing that I hold you responsible if anything goes wrong in your community. If anything goes wrong in this community, we hold you responsible. And we have 180 communities where we have a telephone line connected and everything. If you do anything in one community, within five minutes, everybody has received the message and everything. If you have, and then moved on from community, went to local government, the state, 
working with approved federal agencies. And it became clear within a period of less than one year, the difference was clear. We can do the same thing nationally. There's no reason why we should not have local government policing, state policing, and of course, national policing. But that has to be um, enshrined in the law. The constitution does not recognize that. How would you achieve that? I just told you what I did without the constitution. We have to start somewhere before we amend the constitution because we can't wait for the constitution or the law of us are kidnapped. We can do this, forget about what we, I'm not saying it won't come into the constitution. If I go and do vigilante in the village, you don't need constitution to start because people have to secure the people that will make the constitution. Otherwise, they won't even be alive to make, change the constitution. We have to be alive for the constitution to be changed. I'm telling you what I'm going to do Using my position as the president today, I will sign. If there's, a, there's some power for the president, it's not everything that he has to wait. I have to secure the people first, then we amend the constitution to suit it. Uh, would you be considering the 2014 confab and tinkering with it? Well, that one will come. First is that I must secure the people. <laughs> Everybody will be alive, including the president. Then we talk about where, what we are going to implement. Oh, I'm right. not going to wait for anything. <laughs> Nigeria must be secured, and it must be secured as quickly as possible, whatever oh. it takes. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Baba Ahmed wants to say something.